In this video, let's take a look how to make selections using Photoshop's blended feature. So firstly, I'm going to duplicate this background layer by hitting Control or Command J. Next, I'll create a solid color layer here. Doesn't matter what color. Next, I'll double click on this layer. And in the blend if section with the underlying layer slider, we can restrict this layer in red to appear within a certain tonal range in the layers below. So for example, uh, by dragging this handle here to the left, we are restricting this layer in red to only appear within this tonal range in these layers below, okay? But the task here is to actually create a selection of this area in red. So I'm just gonna smooth out this edge by holding down Alt or Option and clicking on these handles. It separates them and creates a smoother transition. So now you might be thinking we can just hide these two layers here and that will reveal the transparency behind the red layer because we can see here that there is some transparency appearing behind the red layer. Uh, and it's that transparency that we want to be able to use to make a selection of our red layer. So if I just hide these two layers, you will then notice that everything gets filled in red. So technically our red layer still doesn't have uh, this transparency that we see. So if you were using Blend If on a layer and want to make a selection of that layer's visible pixels, we need to use Photoshop's Knockout feature. So if I just double click on the layer, uh, and under the Knockout menu drop down here, you want to change this from None to Shallow. You also want to set the layer's fill opacity to zero. So when you do that, we are essentially hiding the layer. But there's one important detail to make this all work. If you have a background layer in your Photoshop document, just make sure you hide it. And when you hide it, you'll notice that this layer, I'll turn its fill back to 100%. Okay, so before, there was no way we could really make a selection here of the layer's visible pixels, but setting the fill to zero in conjunction with uh, changing the knockout to shallow, if I change this to none, it doesn't work, change it to shallow, that is going to remove this layer's visible pixels from the current layer, as well as the layers below. So the next step of making a selection of the transparent pixels that we see, which was the areas in red, is to merge everything onto one layer. So with the top visible layer selected, you want to hold down Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E. So now we have uh, these two layers here onto one layer. So now by holding down Control or Command, you can click on the layer and that will make a selection of that layer's visible pixels. But we actually want to select the layer's transparent pixels because that was the area in red. So to invert the selection, you want to hold down Control shift i or Command shift i That will invert the selection. So what we can now do with this information is create a new layer. So Control shift n or Command shift n And we can fill this layer with just any color for the moment. Pick a green. And to fill a selection with the foreground color here, you hold down Alt backspace or Option backspace. So that will fill it with a color. So now if we need to quickly make a selection of this layer, we can hold down Control or Command and click on it. So that will create a selection of that layer's visible pixels, which was originally our area in red. So I'll turn this fill up to show. And this area in red was where it was challenging to make a selection of easily. But now we have this layer at the top that I can hold down Control or Command and click on to make a selection of at any time. So let's just say now I want to adjust this area in red to a different region and create a new layer that I can easily select. What I might do is just delete these top two. I'll double click on the layer and I can just adjust these handles here. Maybe I want to create a new selection of this area. I'll click OK. Uh, next, what I will do is set the fill to zero to create that transparency. I will merge visible, Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E. So now that we have it on one layer, I'll hold down Control or Command to select the layer. Okay, so that's selecting the layer's visible pixels, but we want to select the layer's transparent pixels. I'll invert the selection, Control Shift I or Command Shift I. Invert it. I'm going to create a new layer and then fill this selection with a color. So just use the same green, Alt Backspace or Option Backspace to fill selection with the foreground color. So now we have the layer at the top here that I can select, hold down Control Command, click on it, which was our new region in red. We can now do things with this layer, such as applying it as a selection for a layer mask. 
So for example, I'll just hide this layer here for the moment, this one. And I'm just gonna create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer here. And I'm gonna delete the existing layer mask here because we're going to apply this green area as a selection for the layer mask on this layer, on the brightness and contrast layer. So hold down control or command and click on the top green layer to make a selection. And then with this layer selected, the brightness and contrast, I'll just hit the mask icon. And if I hold down Alt or Option and click on the mask to view it, you can see that that green area is now acting as a mask for this layer. So the area in white is where uh, this layer will affect and the area in black, it won't affect. So if I add some brightness to uh, this layer here, you can see that it is not extending past our area in green. Another thing to note with the knockout feature is if the layer that you've applied Blend F2 is inside a folder, then you will have to switch the knockout option to deep. So in this current example, we have the knockout option set to shallow and that's all working fine. You can see that it adds the transparency of this layer through these layers here. But again, doesn't work if you have the background layer turned on, so make sure that's turned off. But let's just say I want to add these top two layers here inside a group. So I'll select those, Control or Command G to group them. Then it doesn't work. So what you need to do is go to the layer that has Blend If applied, which is the color fill layer here, and change it from uh, change the knockout option from shallow to deep. Then that will then pass through the folder to the layers below. So try out this method if you need to select the visual pixels of a layer that is using Blend F. Hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching.